Armed with a camera capable of recording 10,000 frames of video per second, Rivers Ingersoll is looking for hummingbirds. He wants to capture them in flight, so he can study them later in slow motion. Hummingbirds flap their wings between 12 and 80 times per second when hovering, speeds the human eye can't process. But with his camera, Ingersoll can turn a single second into more than a minute of slow motion video. You film a, uh, some maneuver and you press stop and you look at the footage afterwards and slow down, you see things you never saw before. They're studying the birds in search of clues that will give engineers like Amanda Stowers insight onto how to design the next generation of micro air vehicles, small agile machines that can fly into tight spots more efficiently than fixed winged planes. Flapping winged or rotary helicopters can be more efficient just because of the differences in size. Stowers says she's trying to replicate a hummingbird's ability to accelerate and switch directions. Ultimately, she and Ingersoll envision a day where swarms of hummingbird-like machines, packed with sensors and cameras, can be deployed in search and rescue efforts. It's definitely possible to generate more complicated behavior and go over a much larger area if you have more than one. If there's an earthquake somewhere and the search and rescue gets there and they want to know where bodies are, they can send up a flock of these micro vehicles and they can fly around, look for like signs of humans and send the search and rescue right there. So there's plenty of applications to it. Ingersoll and Stowers concede that re-engineering millions of years of evolution is a difficult task. But they are confident that advances in technology and materials will soon make it possible for their research to take flight.